Let us learn how to download and install Google Fonts to your computer so you can take your PowerPoint slide design to the next level. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program. The link is in the description box below. First of all, why do we need to install additional fonts? There are times that you may need to create those high impact presentations where every element of slide design matters. In those cases, you would want your fonts to look special. Now, why Google Fonts? Even though there are so many sites that offer you free fonts to download, we don't really know the license terms of all those fonts. One of the best and safest sources for you to download fonts and use in your presentations is Google Fonts. Now, let us jump right in to Google Fonts webpage. You can search for Google Web Fonts and you will be able to get this Google Fonts site. You can go to that particular site. It is also called as fonts.google.com. There are quite a few interesting options here. The first thing I'm going to do is to type something so I can see how the same text appears across different font types. Here I have written something. The next step is to select the category of fonts. There are a number of font categories available. Let me show you what each of those font types mean. The first thing I'm going to do is to just select the serif fonts and remove everything else. The way you identify a serif font is the hooks that you see in the legs and hands of fonts. These hooks are referred to as serif and there are quite a few of these options available for you to download. While I don't really have any hangups in using serif fonts in my presentation, there are certain people who don't really want to use serif fonts because they are not very easy to read. But in my humble opinion, since PowerPoint slides are usually projected on a large screen, it doesn't really matter whether you use your serif fonts or sans serif fonts. Now let us see the options available in sans serif fonts. We can go here and deselect serif and select only sans serif fonts. Here you can see a very clean look to the fonts. There are no hooks and these are quite easy to read even if you are going to use them for documents. The next type you have is display and display fonts are usually fancy type of fonts. They are typically used for headlines. You don't use display fonts for body type because it becomes quite difficult for your audience to read your text. The next type is handwritten fonts. These are some special type of fonts that are used rarely. You may use it as a highlight font to draw the viewer's attention to a certain piece of information which is either an aside or some kind of a personal comment. And also in cases where you want to keep your presentations a bit casual, you can use these handwritten fonts. But be careful, handwritten fonts are not very easy for your audience to read, so limit the use of these fonts. The last type of option that we have is monospace fonts. A monospace font is a font type where every character occupies the same width. These type of fonts are also used only in special occasions. The most common types are the sans serif and serif type of fonts. Now I've chosen sans serif fonts and here I can go down and see that there are a whole bunch of options to choose from. Now once I decide the font type, let us say I want to download Poppins because I don't really have that option available. When I go here and select some text, let us see if I have Poppins. As you can see, I don't really have that font. So I'm going to install that font onto my computer. Of course, you can always go to font properties and make your selection even finer by choosing number of styles, thickness, slant, etc. I don't really bother with many of these details. So what I do is I select a particular font and you can see that these are the different styles that are available. I don't mind adding all these styles. So whenever I require, I can choose the specific style. So once I have this selected, I can go to this option here called download family. I can click on that and that downloads the file immediately. I can go to the relevant folder where it is downloaded and here you see that there are all these styles available for me to select from. Now the first thing I want you to do is to open the license terms and read through everything. Essentially it says that you can use these fonts the way you want even in commercial projects. The only limitation is you cannot sell these fonts as your own. Now let me close this. Now let us say I like one particular type of font like say this Poppins Black. I can open that and I can see that this is the way my text would look once I install the font. I'm quite happy with the look and feel. So I can go here and choose this option called install. The moment I do that, that particular font is installed onto my computer. 
Now, when I go to PowerPoint, will I be able to see that font immediately? Not really. I need to first close PowerPoint and then open it again so I'll be able to access the font that I just downloaded. So I'm going to do the same. I've reopened PowerPoint again. Here I've got some text. Let me apply the Poppins font here. I can do so in this mini toolbar. I can go to this option as well. There I can see Poppins black. Let me select that and this is how the text looks. Want to learn all the essentials of PowerPoint in under 20 minutes and impress your colleagues and bosses? We have just the right video for you right here. All you need to do is to click on the link here to watch the video called PowerPoint for Beginners, a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Go ahead, click on the link and start watching that video right now.